Hey folks, what's all? Welcome back to another Pawn Mass video. Today we're going to check out the new Kimono Grimsley and Bisharp, slash Alolan Grimsley, whatever you want to call him. And he's a pretty fun unit, right? He does kind of remind me of Steven, but like a more like offensive Steven, right? And we're going to try him against the Steel Week Master Mode. And there's a few things I don't like about using him in the Master Mode, although I it's better than the Legendary Arena, I guess, just because... In Legendary Arena, you can't screech Regirock, right, at the moment. Um, but there are definitely some issues I do have with him against um, Master Mode stages that I don't really like, right? But before that, let's uh, check out his kit. Very, very, very fun kit, right? A bit slow, but everything else, um, you have a Metal Burst, has a great counter. You got all this stuff uh, going on. Um, I'm not going to bring a unit to, like, fully support him, so, like, something that could, like, like I'm not going to bring, like, a Hilbert so we can max out his uh, crit and physical attack, uh, so then we don't get to use his training move, right? Uh, I actually do want to actually try and use his training move, try and use his kit, so we're not going to uh, use anyone to, like, actually help um, out with him, but the problem with that is he does have a bit of a slower setup if you don't actually bring someone to help, right? So what you're generally trying to do is you screech the first three turns, right? get the opponent to minus six defense because uh, first of all we have insult to injury which is nice uh for extra 30 percent you know damage buff to your uh, iron heads also defense in general makes you do a bit more damage and then also with your um uh sync mover here the sync new condition is defense lowers right um so you're probably gonna spend the first three turns screeching then you have your EX support go for uh, support EX sync. And then if you're going to think, okay, then you set up the Metal Burst thing. Here's the thing with Master Mode, though, or Champion Stadium in general. Uh, the order of the opponent's moves. You do have to pay attention of when the opponents use their moves um, at what exact time. Who uses it right there, right? Because here's the thing. Metal Burst is incredibly strong. This is an incredibly strong move, right? This is kind of like a max move or a sync nuke or whatever in of itself. You do not want this happening. You do not want to use the Metal Burst on the sides, which usually um, after your support EX sync, right? The one attacking is one of the sides. You don't want that to happen. You don't want it to be the mid right before sync, because usually before, right before sync, most champion stadium, you know, uh, units, they either use a trainer move or they just use a non-damaging move. And you do not want to use it when they sink, because when they sink, you can't counter. So you have to wait an extra few turns after they sink, then you can use it, right? So it's a very, very delicate process. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're going to run Caitlyn here for, again, support EX, uh, also speed, and also Swana. So we could buff his defense afterwards and also give potion. Here's why he's still risky. You think, okay, yeah, you could, yeah, he debuffs his defense by like six and then you draw aggro, but, you know, after you counter a move, it's going to return to, you know, normal, right? His debuff stats are going to return to normal, and you think, okay, that's fine, right? That's not risky at all. Um, and, and he gets fully healed, right? He gets fully healed. Um, I disagree. It is still, it, it is still risky um, because of the fact that even if he is at... You know, he even if he if, even if you do return his lowered stats back to normal, defense stats back to normal, his defense stats are not good. He does not have good defense stats to begin with, right? So you can still get taken out. That's why I do prefer bringing, you know, defense special defense buffers. So right after you use metal burst, right? Because you do want your defense to be as low as possible when the opponent hits you. So because the more HP you lose, right? Uh, the more, the more your, you know, the harder your metal burst hits. So you do want your HP as low as possible. You want, ideally, the opponent to hit you down to endurance, right? But what you don't want afterwards is because you get targeted for three turns, right? You don't want to get taken out in those three turns. Grimsley's defenses are not that good. You can hope you dodge it, but again, obviously, dodge that means it's a risk, right? It's a, you know. You might dodge. You you might dodge. You might not. Right. If you don't dodge it, you're dead. Um, a lot of times because again, his defense is still aren't good. That's why I do think defense buffers are really really nice to uh, to help him survive a bit. Right afterwards. Uh, so that, here's that leer. Right. Again, we have to wait for them to use their sync move first. Right before we uh before we do any of the metal burst stuff. Because again, 
we can't counter sync moves. So I'm just gonna throw some extra screeches in there, right? Throw some extra screeches in there. Also after this we have to heal him because again, I'm pretty sure Metal Burst is like calculated based on the percentage of HP loss, right? I'm pretty sure it's something like that. So after they sync, we're gonna heal him up. Okay. So the more HP you lose, it should be, you know, the more, um, the more the Metal Burst does. And again, Metal Burst is very, very, very strong move. Incredibly strong move. All right, let's get the uh, Metal Burst in here. That's good. We still don't want to buff defense just yet. We'll buff it like next turn. All right, here comes a Crunch. Crunch should be a powerful move. Crunch should be a very, very powerful move. All right, now is when we want to buff the defenses. Because then they're going to hit us. We're going to heal all the way back up, so you don't have to worry about HP-wise. That's good. That's very, very good. That gets us to Endurance, right? And boom, we hit one back. Metal Burst. 43k. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh my goodness. Now we're our defenses are back to raise back to 1. Oh, not 1, 0, right? And then we have these two units on the sides buffing defense. I know we also have um, high evasion now, right? We're at what, uh, plus 6 evasion as well, so all really, really, really good stuff afterwards. It's just a very long setup, right? Also, Sync Nuke. Very powerful Sync Nuke. <laughs> very powerful Sync Nuke as well. Um, so he is kind of like, he's kind of like Steven Metagross, except Steven Metagross is more defensive, right? A much, much better tank. Much, much more reliable uh, tank slash, you know, on that realm. But, uh, but Bisharp is the better offensive unit, right? Bisharp is the better offensive unit. Um, hopefully we don't, I was just about to say, hopefully we don't get crit, but, or we could just, uh, take them out there. That would be nice too. <laughs> that would be, uh, that would be very, very nice. Alright, uh, get the potion. Don't want to get taken out here. Hopefully we don't get flinched. Hopefully we can flinch them, actually. We have a 60% chance to flinch, uh, with our, our, our aggravation, which is nice. So, we're gonna flinch in there. Uh, we got a dodge? <laughs> That's good. Alright. Can get a flinch, and we'll sink, finish it off. No flinch. Oh, come on. Uh, alright. Actually, let's get, let, let's get a minus six, uh, let's get a minus six defense in here before we finish it off. So we get the full, uh, full nuke in here. How many sync buffs? Three sync buffs. <laughs> Three sync buffs. Screech nuke. Alright, one more, one more. So hopefully we don't get taken out. We should be fine though. We do have, well, again, plus six evasion and also the def uh, defense buffs over here from the, uh, the supports. Alright, let's get a sink in. And... Oh, I actually haven't seen his animation yet. Oh, that's actually really cool. I like that, I like that. Coin flip a Destiny head. <laughs> Why are you flying up though? Okay, I guess for the more acceleration. Look at that! Look at that, look at that. Um, again, his big downside's a bit slow, risky, setup is long. But, once you get everything set up, very, very, very good damage, right? Highly recommend running him with a Sporty X. Also, probably, again, someone who heals. So you could heal him after the opponent sinks you, right? So, well, um, that's uh, the unit. Uh, let's actually... Uh, uh, let me check out, uh, does he have a Sync Pair story? I I'm thinking maybe we'll like do the Sync Pair stories and the unit showcases in the future instead of the summoning stream. Cause that's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Or is his Sync Pair story just like the event thing again? Uh, cause they, they, they do that. Wait, is he in Alola? He's in Alola. Why is he in Alola? His, his theme skill is Alola though. Instead of Unovan, even though he's Unovan. He went to, he went for, oh, <laughs> Steven, literally. The more defensive version of Grimsley over here. Well, Post was out on a hike in the... I'm sorry about the space under him, but after my name. Well, Post was out on a hike um, in the mountains. He spotted Stephen and Grimsley having a conversation. Congratulations. That was an interesting contest, as promised. The stone is yours. He likes stones too? Stephen would give up a stone like that? I'm looking forward to the day we match with wits again. Okay, that's impressive. Got a stone from Steven. <laughs> Do you have a moment? Well, well, if it isn't posts. Uh, 
That's because she hit the jackpot. Here's what happened. While we were walking, Bisharp came across a stone that's perfect for sharpening her blades. But at the same time, Steven spotted the stone and decided he wanted it as well. Okay. I guess to him it was some sort of rare stone. Damn, imagine like, you know, Steven saw like some like super, super, super rare stone that like, you know, probably has a lot of um, uh, like, uh, like value, right? Geological value, whatever. Um, not geological, <laughs> uh, but a lot of value. And then he just sees like Grimsley using it, like just to sharpen <laughs> Bishop's claws or whatever. <laughs> he'd like, he'd, he'd go crazy inside. Um, well, well, he didn't. He saw it and he didn't. So I guess he won't. <laughs> I guess to stop him, uh, or I guess to him it was some kind of, sort of rare stone. So I proposed settling the matter with, like, gentlemen with a bet. Oh, I thought they were bowing. <laughs> okay, I'll bet. Makes sense. It was a very simple bet. Who would be the next to walk by us on the road, a boy or a girl? Steven said it would be a boy, and Bisharp thought it would be a girl, and just like that, we had a bet. Mere moments later, a male trainer walked by. What? How did you get it then? No, you see, there was a small problem. I was just about to shake Steven's hand and congratulate him on winning the bet when Bisharp stopped me. That took me by surprise, because Bisharp isn't the type of Pokemon to break her promises. I knew there had to be some reason why she stopped me. Just then I noticed something. The trainer had a partner Pokemon, a Ponyard, and not only that, but the Ponyard was actually in front, uh, walking in front of this, the trainer. Oh, come on. Sure enough, I asked the trainer whether his Ponyard was male or female, and it turned out she was a girl. Yeah, I have to admit, I was amused as well. You really can't tell just from a Ponyard's appearance alone, but Bisharp noticed right, right away. I know my Bisharp very well, but every now and then, she surprises me. That's why I adore her so much. Well, that's very... <laughs> Bisharp and I go way back. That's why I almost knew th what she was thinking. When we battle, Bisharp often goes into motion before I, ev I even give her a command, because she knows what I'm going to say. I guess after spending so much time around a risk taker like me, she's gotten pretty good at reading people. I can't say for sure if she's really uh, understands my every thought, but I know I've always got her back and she's always got mine. Dude, I love this Pair story. <laughs> This is fantastic. Well, would you look at that? She's itching to put her freshly sharpened blades to the test. Wow, that's fantastic. Wow, from start to ending. Fantastic story. What do you say, folks? Care for a battle? Might be like top my five top five favorite sync pair stories. When it comes to surprises, you definitely are full of them. A battle between wild cards like you and me is certain to be a be a thrill. That was a very good Sync Bear story. Might even be, be better than the unit itself. Okay. <laughs> Easy. Fine unit. Fine unit. Anyways, uh, that's me for this one, I guess. Um, hope you all enjoy. Let me know guys think in the comments down below. If you like and enjoy this video, subscribe to channel for some more Poem Masters content. Can we go to Shiny? No. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll check out the uh, the new Paulo story event.